Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I couldn't stop playing. I thought I was done for today after the last episode, but I, I can't stop. I have so many ideas. So many, so many, so many. For today, um, wait, don't press F5 too often. Wait, okay. For today, I have a few plans. Actually, I'm, I'm a little bit all over the place and I'm not quite sure with what I will start or what the main thing of this episode will be. Well, actually, I know what we will start with. We will start with this. This will be the, um, well, basically, this is all about the entrance. This entrance is no longer worthy of our little starter hole, starter hobbit hole, whatever you want to call it. Now, I have an idea. I want to make this look like an, um, basically, like the entrance to a mineshaft. Nothing, nothing special. <laughs> the world definitely has seen such things before, but I want to make it done. <laughs> want to get it done. <laughs> I can English. I can English well. I'm a little bit excited. Okay. <laughs> so, for now, we need this. Boop, boop, boop. And we will rip out this, plant this here. We will strip all the locks. Yay! Actually, today I want to get my hand on all the other locks that are in the game that we can potentially use for um, the big build, the big base, the real base, which I am actually in the process of planning out. I have some sort of an idea of where I want to go with my base. Of course, it has to be something very compact. Um, compact? <laughs> um, uh, wait, let me quickly grab all the blocks I need to build this. Um, now, talking. <laughs> um, but I'm not really done planning and we have, we definitely do not have um, all the blocks we need. So, the big um, deal in the next episodes will definitely be grinding, at least for me. I will, I think I will bring you along for um, most of it, but the real grindy stuff I will do alone and just bring you to the important bits. Oh, and it's getting dark. Is this, this is, this may be too much. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, that is what I, no, actually, not completely right 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 maybe we should sleep first before we do anything else oh and before we craft stony bits i want to make a stone cutter because this little guy makes um wait where do i place you <laughs> do we have a designated spot uh there <laughs> uh, let me see this makes the um individual recipes for stuff much, much cheaper than as if you compare to crafting them on a normal crafting table. Now let's do it like this. I've added a little bit of gradient so there is, well, some sort of structural um, detail. Let's do it like this. That is perfect. I can definitely live with that. And we are going to place the doors wait actually you can go as well bye bye now the doors i want to place them like i did before hmm maybe this time i have to think boom yes that is how i like this that should be fine now can i craft two stone pressure plates does this work? No, it doesn't. Dang it. Oh, it does. How? That's not what I want. This is very weird. <laughs> Do not like that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe it has to stay like this for a, for a little bit, at least until I figure out what to do with those doors and let us place 
this on the inside that should be good and I think I overdid it with the cobble a little bit I want the cobble on the bottom and end aside as a transition between cobblestone and normal stone Boop. now that looks much better I think okay and maybe we can hang some chains in here and put two lanterns on here as well so we can finally get rid of this uh, torch forest that we have <laughs> established here um yeah this this um yeah the interior of the base will will get done bit by bit by bit by bit maybe we can get rid of the dirt and then we can set out and see what we can get done today maybe stone here doo -doo. okay that is much better i feel so that is the decoration part for today i have sorted everything from our last adventure in all of those chests you see the dripstone i have put all the um, wood the shiny bits the amethyst and uh, the copper either in the barrels or in the oven to smelt let me see how much stuff do we have oh we have so much copper i'm actually not sure if i will use it or in which way i will use it hmm we'll have to think of something now this i can take okay and we have well okay almost two stacks of iron that is something what we do not have a lot of is food and that is actually uh something we should take care of immediately because no food means dead pretty simple now first of all we will breed the cows again as per protocol oh what is this this one is this one either escaped or is plotting to to release her friends which is not happening definitely not hey guys how's it going okay maybe the chickens first if you let many 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 eggs you're good chickies okay that should be about it and i have to take the shield out of my offhand again are you all happy? It was an uneven number of seeds, so I believe I got everyone. Now, for the egos. Why? Oh, so many chicks. That's good. That was at least three, I believe. Now, the cows. Whee! Like a mosh pit. <laughs> a mosh pit. Dum dum da. And I tell you what, I have an idea on how to actually... Wait, I would like to get rid of one more wheat. There it was. So it's an even number, so we do not waste one. Um, what was I thinking? I was thinking about placing a crafting table and getting a few sticks on the way. We need a few more fences. I know we have some in our, in our base doesn't matter right now oh like this maybe and I need two gates I believe two gates oh we have spruce logs here that is fine and another gate yes so because I do not just want to hop in there and um, slay all of the cows I want to funnel their calves out let them go and then um yeah well kill them <laughs> and rebreed the stock that we um, the livestock that we have in there so that means first of all we do not really need a gate in there we need hey where did the carpet go do you have the carpet what the heck guys Okay, we place two gates and keep the bottom one open so only the babies can go through. 
And now... <laughs> I feel very smart now. Where's the carpet? Did you not have the carpet? There it is. Okay. So now I can jump. Go! Ah! Where is it? What the heck? Landed somewhere, I do not know. <laughs> oh no. We might have to get rid of some cows, it's just so many. Wait, boop! Okay. No, this has to this has to go. Um uh, where can we we cannot even place carpet here? Come on, shoo, shoo! No! No! No, no, no! Oh, okay. Who? Now, we take the wheat, and whenever we go in front of this tiny gate, the babies will come with us. We will have to side straight a little bit to get them through, so they don't end up in a big old traffic jam with their parents. The parents will not be able to pass, just the babies. And then we close the gate. We wait for them to grow up. And then we have, um, food. <laughs> Now this is this is it. I won't do any more. That is that. Okay. So we will have a good bit of steak in a few minutes. I'm very much looking forward to that. And we have another load of eggs with only one chicky. Okay. Let's store those here. Uh, beef here. Now this entrance is looking much better. Okay, so for today, one thing that I had planned, do I have my bed on me? I do, that is great, because it will get night soon. First of all, I want to move our crops. We have a problem with our crops, they are just short out of um, loading distance. I want to have them, well, they are within the loading distance of the base, but I, I just want to have them close. I just want to have them nearby in 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 the vicinity of the cows just where we need them and i want a bigger a bigger area for them so i will grab all of the wheat and all of the seeds and we will see if we can't find a better spot for them we need in somewhat even even area, which is, I believe, to the right of our mountain there. Ah, oh, gotta sleep, gotta sleep, gotta sleep very soon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or, actually, we could transform all the, um, the area in front of our base. That might be a good idea. Hmm. Let me grab some shovels. And let me see what I can do with this, with this part here. All the seeds, wonderful. Now go to bed, go to bed, don't do anything stupid. I will definitely need a chest outside. And I think I will need a hoe and maybe one more shovel. It should be good. Mm -hmm. Let us just set up the chest in here so we can put all of this stuff inside for the moment. The shield we should always keep on us. Uh, Okie dokie. Hmm, we need a big area. We need a big area. Hmm, I believe we should raise this to this level. Well, guys, I'm almost done. I've uh, actually not completely. I have to replace the stony bits on the ground with dirt. Now, we can take a look at this. Um, wait, she light the place up again so nothing nasty spawns. Now, 
this is quite a bit of of space which is good i thought about um how to work with this with this cliff side that we now created and my first thought was to um actually let me show you to create some sort of do i have wood let's just let's just see um a wooden wall that would be high enough to have fence on top and keep everything out but i actually believe a that would cost too much wood and b if we light up the hill well enough we could actually make this word work as a well just as a cliff maybe some some leaves and bushes uh, overhanging and on the top uh, on, the, on the bottom <laughs> this is not the top that is top that is the bottom <laughs> um yeah that was that was my plan let's just um maybe one of you has a better idea but for now i would like to make it work like this and just get started with the planting and what we need for that is two buckets one we already have oh we actually need another crafting table and another bucket because first of all we should create an endless water source we need some sort of well here maybe we can actually decorate it decorate it as as a well huh doop, 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 doop. Oh, wait. nice now without two buckets i think this is a great this is a great spot for a wheat field and actually i had another idea um oh man <laughs> the ideas just keep flowing today um i want a bridge from here over there and actually at some point i want to fill in this ravine with water because i think that is just fitting that's just what is supposed to be there that's, that's, that's what i think let's create a well here the decoration part comes later for now we just need an endless water source hmm let me think a little bit how are we going to water this whole place now the um hmm, hmm. now for every non-minecrafter that might for some reason be watching every wait let me show you we have an iron hoe and we are going to iron out iron out mm -hmm. <laughs> to plow all of this dirt now close to the water source that we have just hidden under a spruce what's it called spruce dirt rod. um it will get wet and that is what we need to plant crops out of the one two three four four block radius stuff will um transform back to normal to normal dirt which is what we do not need because then the crops would not grow that means that every four every four blocks we need one of those hidden spots i'm actually not really happy with this because you can see the you can see the underside that is hmm bum, 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 bum. hmm actually not sure how to change that let's um be a little bit random with the placement here so it just doesn't look too too static too mathematic we need a few more and let's just see what area we can we can fill oh i'm a dummy you know what actually i believe we can yes place the spruce door um on the top corner of this dirt block so it goes deeper into the ground which is awesome that is perfect that is just perfect i should have created another hole <laughs> Um, 
how far does this go this goes this far maybe another one here Boop. and check out and maybe another one here oh we are going to have so much wheat guys we have we will have so much wheat we will have all the cows oh speaking of cows <gasps> yes we can we can you know what we can um it's going to happen in a second Boop. i just want the um wheat to get started so we actually have enough to rebreed the cows um let me see this should work hopefully oh this doesn't work maybe i will put some lighting down here that might be a good spot for it um one two three four and at some point i want a at least to this side to the quote-unquote river side a tiny wall so nothing can get up here we'll find a way to spawn proof this top part but this here this is just too much yeah too much ground to to cover and i will hmm, maybe we should do that now hum 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 no first plant the wheat just get it done. uh maybe here oh more water and we can of course also plant all the other crops that we will hopefully eventually find Ooh. and the last one i think that's very close doesn't really matter though and we definitely need another hole Mm hmm do not have another one okay that is fine we need some stickies ah. oh yes do i have more dirt because i believe i can steepen this um the side of this little ravine a little bit more so we have more more ground to to plant stuff on uh, maybe like this oh. mm -hmm. is this a good idea maybe then we could have some sort of walkway here to the non-existent bridge should be fine let's quickly go to sleep Hey, only during night. It's getting night, dude. Let me in. Let me in. <sighs> me, 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 me. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Let me sleep. It's getting dark. <gasps> okay. Oof. Oh, my arm. What is happening to my arm? Now, all the wheat seeds. All the wheat seeds. Let's first check which parts did um, dry out and which didn't. That is kind of important. Oh, and we can also, maybe that should be the first thing we do, grab some lighting. Can we craft lanterns? We have torche, torches and we can make iron nuggets and make lanterns from that. Wonderful. Boop. Wait, shift? Yes. Awesome. Boop. And maybe in this little spot here, we just put down some planks and that's it. Now, I'd say that is a really neat way to cover watering in your fields. And perfect number of lanterns as well. Wonderful. Oh 
no, that is what you shouldn't do. <laughs> Don't right click the trapdoor. And the last few seeds I had to grab from, from behind there because we were all out of seeds. But now we can complete this. How neat is that? Wonderful. This will be so much wheat. So much. And guys, uh, because the episode will get really long again, I think we should end it with... Well, with the cow harvesting. <laughs> How am I getting in there? I forgot. Ow. I think I will need to take this. This. Gimme. Okay. Now we hop out again. <laughs> and install the cockpit. Maybe here. On the border between the two. Um, here. That is perfect. Okay. Yoohoo! Take that. Take that. I'm very sorry you were born for this. <laughs> Kids, look away. Avert your eyes. Crits might be better by jumping, in case you didn't know. Boom. We are going to have so much tech. And leather! Hey! Stop resisting! 46 raw beef. Guys, that is a lot. That is so much. That is so good. Huh! Okay. This means I will end the episode. Um doing what I always do, breeding the cows. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening or morning or night or whatever it is for you. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave me a like if you did and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!